Yeah, what's going on, everybody? This is Chuck. Yeah, I meant for my camera to aim this way. Check that out. That's what you call rain. Huh? Right? So, just sitting here. Um, showed up at work today. And waiting on the rain to kind of subside so I can go try and make some money. Because when you're self-employed, uh, you have to work. To make money uh you don't get paid by the hour right which made me think of something and i thought maybe i'd encourage some of you guys today help inspire you to to let's reach for you know those dreams and get a little bit higher you know stretch ourselves so anyway i was thinking about this okay so we normally give our time for money right that's how we do it we get paid we get a job we get paid so much per hour whether it's minimum wage or Hopefully we can move up into the fifteen or twenty dollar an hour range, right? So we're swapping eight to ten hours a day to try to make, you know, that eighty bucks, that hundred bucks, that hundred and twenty bucks. So uh, for me growing up, uh, that was that was good, and but I knew I could make more money. And so you to make more money, they call it minimum wage because it's minimum skill. Okay, and that's not that's not downing people. It's just in order to make money, more money, to make the money you want to make, you have to have skills, whether, uh, you know, whether it's a trade or a specific skill. Like my wife, she is a licensed optician. So she's worth a lot of money. So instead of the 15 to $20 range, She's in the $25 to $30 range, you know, to get paid because she has a license. She has a specific skill set. She has specific knowledge. And so it causes her to make more money, right? For me personally, I my business, I repair rims on cars. I show up at car dealers like I did here today, and I find scratched rims. I fix those rims. $50 a rim, however many rims I can do in a day, that's how much money I can make in a day. It's is if I can fix one rim an hour, that's $50 an hour, um, which I will be honest, I can do four to five rims per hour, which allows me, like yesterday, I think I did in the neighborhood of 10 to 12 rims, but I was finished at two o'clock in the afternoon. So I worked five hours. And so I was able to make more money, which freed up more time. My daughter is in town with some of my grandkids. And so I was able to spend the afternoon and evening with them instead of slaving away at a job, punching in, punching out, right? And so that led me a few years ago. I've pretty much in my area have tapped out. There's all, all of us, no matter who you are, whether you're Elon Musk or Donald Trump or Bill Gates or me or the guy serving burgers at McDonald's, Burger King, work a minimum wage, high welcome to Walmart. It, we all get 24 hours in a day. That's it. We all get it. We, we all have the same playing field. So how much you make in a day depends on a skill set and what you're able to, to do to produce more money in that day. So if I work an hour, I, how does Donald Trump produce a million dollars a day and I, I'm very happy when I can do six hundred dollars in a day, right? So that's why that's why I want to encourage you guys. So I so me personally, I had to start going, okay, there's only so many rims if I work 10 hours a day, seven days a week, there's only so many rims I can do. There's only so much money I can make. Even though it would be good money, four to five thousand dollars a week easy. I would not have any time to do anything else. So that's why I try to leverage the time I spend working to make the most amount of money so that the time I'm not working, I can enjoy my life. And now a lot of people want to do like this lottery thing where they make a lot of money and then they sit home and they don't do anything. They just, oh, I've made enough money. I can sit home and watch TV. And statistics will tell you most people, I think it's like 65% or 70% last time I checked it, 65% of the people who win the lottery are bankrupt within five or six years because they don't know how to make the money work for them. They just wanted to free up a bunch of time and sit home and do nothing with it. Most of your people, your millionaires, billionaires, and there's tons of them out there, they've learned how to take, make more money in an hour, 
and then take that more money in an hour and not sit on it, but take that money and turn it into more money. They learn how to make their money work for them. Okay. So I want to push you guys into the, how can to, to, I had to evaluate this happened, I think a couple of summers ago, at least a year and a half ago, I, I started evaluating. How is it that a millionaire gets up and can make ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars today, and I'm doing real good if I make a thousand dollars today. So I had to evaluate and go, okay, I've got to change what I do. I've got to I've got to get another skill set. I've got to be able to get a skill set that allows me to make more money in an hour. Expanding my business still will only make so much money. Right? So so I started, I started looking at online things because I, I, I feel personally that's the way to go. And so I, I've been working on my skill set. It's, it's taken me about a year and a half. I've been working on it. I'm getting it set up to where when I get things in place, it starts generating the money online while I'm at work. So I'm still making $50 per rim and I'm still making money online to the point that when the money starts coming in online, that in an hour, instead of making $50 for one rim, I've made $500 or $600. That's the general gist behind how, how to become a millionaire, how to, how to expand yourself and make the money you want. I, I use millionaire because those are the people, I want to be a millionaire. You know, those are the kind of people that are out there. But you personally evaluate your life. If, you, if you're very happy making six or $700 a day, what do you have to do? Evaluate what what skill sets do I have? What do I enjoy? Don't go get a skill set that you don't enjoy. My son-in-law went and got a degree or certificate to be a welder. He worked three days as a welder, hated it, and now he works for in a factory somewhere doing QC. Did he loves? He loves sitting in front of the computer. He loves punching the numbers. He loves sitting and looking at the products. Find what you like. Find what you like to do. The kind of people you like to be around. Find people who are successful in that genre, in what you do, and then and then start seeing how they became successful at it. And then go for your dreams, man. Live the dream life. We only get one shot at this. You're not promised Social Security. You're not promised 401k in retirement. Those are things you're working for. And those are great things that are out there. But, but go be the best you you can be and push yourself to go a little bit farther. All right? I hope this encourages you. Hope I find you in a good place today. Hope you are are living the dream and having fun and, and let's let's go do it, man. All right. So I gotta cut this camera off. So I'm gonna flip you around and let you see. Yes, it's still raining. Yay. Yay me. But I'll wait it out and we'll do the hustle. We'll catch you guys on the next one.